YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the complete set of five Sinnoh Stars Mini Tins. Now, these products are brand new. I actually purchased this entire set of five from Collector's Cash for $37.99 total. Now, MSRP for each individual tin is $8.99, so I was able to get a deal by purchasing all five from Collector's Cash. And this is another reminder for those viewing this video, try and avoid buying products specifically from Walmart and some products at Target. MJ Holding for Walmart has started to increase Pokemon card prices at Walmart stores. I found these at my local Walmart. They were $9.98 a piece and you can find plenty of sealed products online for much cheaper. With that being said, I can flip one of these mini tins over and on the back two booster packs on the inside, a metallic Pokemon coin, and then an art card, and then all five art cards combine into one large card. It will be interesting to see what packs are on the inside. I'm hoping at least Brilliant Stars. I'm not exactly sure right now. Of course, Mini Tins have been around for a while. I was able to purchase all of the Mini Tins from Celebrations. So usually there is some type of perforation on the plastic wrap, but I do have my scissors handy, my handy dandy scissors. I think I'll just cut right through it. There we go. I have a few products that I've been opening up lately that Walmart has just priced very crazily. So on the inside, you get the large Pikachu coin. I was trying to see my face in there that used to be how you guys saw my face in some of my videos here is the art card front and then back piplup of course the future pokemon on this one and there's all five of the different art cards on the top fusion strike looks to be one booster pack and then chilling rain ouch that hurts and i can see why these tins are selling for less than msrp online chilling rain a very poor set you can find those packs are very cheap and fusion strike for being the largest set of all time you can find those packs very cheap as well booster boxes even as cheap as eighty dollars i have seen online but i do like to open up one of every newly released product on my channel so let's dig into fusion strike here genesect v a very competitive card from fusion strike would love to pull that card Let's see what happens now. Of course, the TCG Live, which everything I've read about and I've played it a little bit, very terrible right now, of course, is in beta testing. And it's only really available in certain regions, but it is horrible in my opinion. Just the feel of it, and it really does look cheap. I definitely prefer the TCG Online. Shoulder starts the first pack of 10 total packs in this video. Caterpie, Drillbur, Shinx, Baneri, Darkness Type Energy, Lapras, Galarian Perserker, Fusion Strike Energy. Of course, Fusion Strike is somewhat of a combination of Single Strike and Rapid Strike. It could be better, just depending on the Fusion Strike Pokemon released in the future. Rotom would be the Reverse Holloway Common. Final card would be a Tyranitar V. So happy with this poll. I am a fan of Tyranitar in general. Put a lot of time into the second generation of Pokemon video games. So I won't be shot out from 10 total packs. I would like to get two or three packs just like that. Now, Chilling Rain, both forms of Calyrex, Shadow Rider and Dawn Rider, or Ice Rider, excuse me, Ice Rider, Shadow Rider. I was going to say Dawn Rider didn't seem right. Here's another appropriate colored code card, a white colored code card for the little bit older packs. Cast form, snowy form, starts the Chilling Rain booster pack. Hatena, Aeron, Ralts, Venipede, Darkness Type Energy, Echoing Horn, Flaffy, Clara, Reverse Hall of a Ralts, just a common. I have seen a little bit of a dark edge back there. Can it be something better than a Pokemon V? It would be a Metagross V. So. Another one of the very common Pokemon V from these 
Sun and Moon Sword and Shield series sets. Dating myself a little bit there. Sword and Shields series set. So Metagross V. Of course, there are some good metal type decks out there. There's a Sheen V, one of my favorite decks. It can really do a lot of damage. So next up would be, I believe this is Munchlax. On this one, get my scissors handy. I know I was a big fan of Blue's Clues when I was growing up. Watched a lot of TV shows on Nickelodeon. What was it? The 20th anniversary of Blue's Clues where the original host made an appearance again. So let's see. Yes, I know my Pokemon. Munchlax and then the same two booster packs, Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike. So I won't spend too much time showing the different items, but I can show this card a little bit closer. And the thing I found with these mini tins, these cards are really stuffed into the mini tin. You can see the bottom left down here is bent a little bit. Same booster pack, same coin, I'll open them up in the same order. If only every single individual mini tin had two ultra rares in the two packs, I'd be very happy. As a collector, I'm always trying to get as many ultra rares and secret rares in my collection as possible. I do prefer the gold colored cards. Usually the golden cards are secret rares. Mawile starts the Fusion Strike Pack. Makuhita. Panpour. Sawaddle. Skarmory. Water type energy. Farewell Bell. Lopini. Hariyama. Reverse Hall of a Snorlax. Sometimes Snorlax is a rare, in this case, just a common. And then Palo Sand as the rare in the pack. Chilling Rain now. And you can see the Galarian Legendary Birds from the first generation on the cover artwork of Chilling Rain Booster Packs. Galarian Articuno here. Look at that. At least I won't be shut out from this mini tin. I have a feeling that these mini tins will be sitting in stores, especially stores like Walmart that have overpriced the, the tins and really Pokemon cards in general. Of course, with the pandemic, the supply decreased a little bit because of the worker shorter shortage and then demand increased. Everyone was at home. People wanted to collect Pokemon cards. It was easy money for a little while flipping products, but now the supply has increased greatly from the Pokemon Company International and demand has decreased. People went on to other hobbies. So Walmart may have a lot of product sitting on shelves and really that's MJ Holdings problem. Heracross starts this pack. Chilling Rain, Sobble, Inkay, Squovit, Scorbunny, Darkness type energy, fire resistant gloves. Melanie is a very good supporter. Attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. If you do draw three cards, similar in a way to Welder for fire type Pokemon. Whirlipede, Reverse Hall of Cast Form, Rainy Form, a common. Final card would be a Cresselia. This is a rare haul. I do believe this is one of the pre release promos available with Chilling Rain, of course, from those build and battle boxes. Now, if you are short on time, you can always skip to the end of the video and see all of my good pulls. Next up would be the one with Chimchar on it. I have been lucky enough to pre-order a lot of Astral Radiance products. That set coming out, I believe, in May, maybe early June. Not exactly sure on a set checklist, but... Pre-orders have appeared everywhere. That just tells me that they're going to print a lot of that set. Of course, I've been able to get the Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. Usually there's a limit of four through their website. I always try and purchase four, although with Brilliant Stars, it did seem like some people order just one Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. I actually received a case, so one case instead of one single Elite Trainer box. Same booster packs on the inside, Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike. We'll open up the packs in the same order. New VMAX is a very good card, allowing you to really use any Fusion Strike attack that you would like. Four and then two. Galarian Corsola starts this pack. Quillfish. Vulpix, Chansey, 
Galarian Zigzagoon, Lightning Type Energy, Schoolgirl, Luxio, Mandibuzz, Reverse Hall of a Graveler, an uncommon. Final card would be a Leavene. Goal from this opening from these 10 packs to pull something better than a Pokemon V. That is why, and I recommend it all the time in my videos, if you're looking for the best pull rates possible, buy a booster box. It is the cheapest price per pack normally because you do get the boxes for less than MSRP. MSRP at $3.99 a pack is $143 in some sense. Usually, right now, the newer sets booster boxes anywhere between $90 and $120 or so. Ralt starts this one. Booster boxes also have the most guaranteed pull rates. Heracross, Cast Form, Sveal, Hotena, Fighting Type Energy, Avery, a pretty good supporter card, Ledian, Old Cemetery, Reverse Hollow of a Larvesta. Lots of common Reverse Hollows in this opening. And then another rare Hollow in a Galarian Slow King. Always a chance in those packs that you pull a rare Hollow to get something better. That is why I have a hard time keeping products sealed in my collection because I always think, well, there's a potential of pulling a certain card out and who knows, maybe the box that I have sealed has multiple of that good card on the inside. Of course, it is always better investment-wise and, and really just in general to either buy the specific card that you're looking for or to keep a product sealed. It's worth more in the long run. Riolu pack now. I know Riolu because that was one of the first products that I ever opened up on my channel that featured a Riolu. I know a, a friend of mine who watches some of my more recent videos just could not believe how many views some of my older videos received back before I had a face cam. And technology has changed over the years. Now, not saying that I couldn't have done this exact same thing in 2008, but it probably would have been a little bit more expensive. Of course, I don't believe there was 4K technology for consumer cameras. Maybe I'm incorrect, but I don't believe so. There's Galarian Moltres on Chilling Rain. Let's mix this up. I've done pretty well on the mini tin so far. Let's mix the packs around like it really changes the pulls, the cards that are going to be on the inside. Always hoping for an alternate art from my openings. Battle Styles, the first set in quite a few sets to reintroduce those alternate art cards. Cub Fu starts this pack. Hatena, Sobble, Bound Sweet, Fur Fruit. Fire type energy. Porygon 2. I've always been a fan of Porygon ever since base set. Like the artwork on Reboot. Scroll of the Skies. Reverse Hall of a Delibird. This would be a common, no surprise. And then Kecleon as the final card. Let's see what happens in this mini tin. I believe I've had at least one good pull from every mini tin so far. I have seen some stores restock. Are they the Galar Pals mini tins? Some of the mini tins out there do have Cosmic Eclipse in them. Like I purchased the Pokeballs from Walmart three, four weeks ago now. And they had Cosmic Eclipse on the inside. Pansier starts the final pack in the second last mini tin. Minin, Baltoy, Galarian Corsola, Quillfish, Fighting Type Energy, Spongy Gloves, Frostmoth, Simiseer, Reverse Hall of an Aracuda. Let me guess, a common looks to be the case. And then the final card, a Verizian. I was going to say, I had Verizon. That's what it always reminds me of. Verizon Wireless for a long time for my cell phone. When I first started out, I've been on straight talk through Walmart for... Oof, 10 years, I would say. It's been a long time. That's definitely the cheapest way to go, at least in an area like I live, where it's not a major metropolitan area. I know there's some cheaper plans out there for unlimited, pretty much everything, unlimited everything. So it reminded me just today, I was updating my budget. I'm a big fan of Dave Ramsey and how he recommends doing most things. But I was going to cancel my Sirius XM 
subscription. I've had it with my car since I bought it brand new in 2014, and I just couldn't pull the trigger on canceling my SiriusXM subscription. I know there's a lot of other streaming music out there, platforms, but for $6.51 a month, I thought I could handle another year. I just thought, oh, my car is not going to seem like new anymore if I don't have Sirius XM, even though essentially I live three blocks from where I work. And that's really all I drive my car for. Carl, of course, has a brand new vehicle. Uh, that's sort of our primary vehicle. We take me and my daughter in if we go anywhere. But I just had so many memories of just having Sirius XM and the times I would travel in my vehicle, I would actually listen to a lot of NFL games during the winter. Of course, I'm more of a pop music type of listener. Pop Rocks, Pop 2K, 90s on 9, that type of thing. And Carla likes a lot of the newer stuff. Of course, she's five years younger than me, so she's you know, a little bit different music, but not much. Galarian Farfetch starts the final Chilling Rain Booster Pack. Fur Fruit, Venipede, Sveal, Crab Roller. Metal Type Energy, Dino Tree Hill, Justified Gloves, Lucky Energy, Reverse Solvent Ink, a common, and then Agron as the final card. Hoping for some last pack magic from Fusion Strike. There's essentially two great cards in Fusion Strike, and then what, 284 cards in the set? And that's really it, two good cards. That is why this set is extremely cheap online. Let's see, I'll show you guys the code card. If it has a black border, I believe it's for TCG Live, that means there's something good in that final spot. Let's see what happens from the final pack. It starts with Mankey, Krogunk, Panseer, Eracuda, Gumi, Lightning Type Energy, Schoolboy, Primeape, Zarude, Reverse Solovey, Gorbis, I think, believe this is a rare, yes it is, and then the final card would be a Meloetta, so it was a white bordered code card there for the TCG Live, but I have a fair amount of cards to summarize from only 10 packs, not too bad of pulls, just a word for those watching this video, I would probably look elsewhere for products to open up in the TCG, unless you really like the art cards, within these mini tins or just like to collect the mini tins the packs on the inside stay away from in my opinion at all costs you can find them for two dollars a piece online i'd much rather do that than buy these mini tins msrp 450 per pack it's not worth it in my opinion so from these 10 packs in the five mini tins solid pulls overall nothing spectacular was able to pull out a rare reverse hollow and gorbis two rare holo cards and then two pokemon v so four good packs out of ten good pull rates any day of the week so the two rare hollows in cresselia and glaring and sloking and then the two pokemon v in tyranitar as well as metagross and then on the play mat here i have laid out all five of those art cards so you can see a better view of it maybe you want to buy these mini tins for just the art cards you could potentially frame this as one large picture maybe hang it up on a wall or something but that will conclude this video thank you everyone for watching as always before you go make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on all notifications and then hit that like button if you would like to help support my channel even more you can always donate directly to me through paypal or through the live chat portion of live streams and premieres i do have a patreon out there and then you can always purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, the Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. All of those things can be found in the description of this video. But thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.